Right, so I'm going to show you inside our Poetry Tea Times folder. Now these are all ones that we have created. There are quite a few in here. I'm going to be adding tabs so that I can find the different sections a lot easier. This one is the summer section from our Love at Home's Guide to Poems, which is an annual poetry guide. It has a poem for every week. Um, it's got recipe ideas. Um, and then these are all the crafts that are within each poem. So within each poem, what you're going to see is the poem, a picture that goes with it, and then this page, the vocabulary, author bio, handicrafts, activities, and writing and drawing prompts. So that is what you're going to see in the whole guide. There are seven different sections. This is just the summer section. I'm going to be printing out the autumn section soon, the winter section, then we've got spring and nature, imagination, journey, um, and, you know, summer, of course, which is what this one is. So that is just look through this one. This is where tabs would really come in handy. And I just printed all this out last night. So the next thing we have is our astronomy tea times. Now these are tea times that you can either buy by themselves or you can purchase them with our astronomy unit. Um, it was recently updated to include these, one for each little section. Each section has three to five lessons. But each one has a recipe, a poem, and then, you know, ideas. What are the goals of this tea time? Some dessert ideas, tea ideas. So that is Galaxy, and then they each have poetry in them as well. They perfectly go with our guide that um, we actually just used in January. And we've got these mermaid themed tea time foods and crafts, which this is was in the ocean schooling bundle and it's also a part of our poetry tea time myths and magic that's gonna be coming out this month. So this is just what we have so far. And each section will be based on a mythical or magical creature. Recipes, poetry. Now this is holiday tea times around the world. This one, I believe is the last one Nope, there's one more in here. Okay, so this one is based on a lot of fun holidays. You've got winter holidays, such as the winter solstice, you know, Christmas, obviously, Candlemas, St. Patrick's Day, Spring Equinox, Lady Day, Memorial Day, you know, all sorts of fun holidays that either we celebrate here in America or that are celebrated around the world. And my goal for each one of these was to show you different ways that countries celebrate. So you can learn all about these countries, all about these holidays, in um, a fun guide for tea times all around the world. Now we are over here in it because we recently celebrated uh, midsummer. So here's the summer solstice that we did, and then We've also got Midsummer because my daughter's birthday is actually on Midsummer or within a day or two of it. The 4th of July, Independence Day, if other countries wanted to know how we celebrate here. And then the next one I don't have is until the Eternal Equinox. Now the last one, second to last one, I have in, oh my goodness guys, I can't count, I'm sorry. I have a lot in here. Now this is Tea Time Colors of the Rainbow. This is one that you can either buy, you know, just to have fun, to have fun themed tea times for different colors, or it's really, really good to use for preschool. And this is actually going to be in our preschool year that we are combining our curriculums um, to be in. So it goes through all of the colors of the rainbow. Gives you different ideas for foods, nature, tea, and how to decorate. Now this is another one you will also find in the Ocean Schooling Bundle that I'll probably be releasing um, separately too because that bundle just ended. But it's got three different tea times based on, you know, you've got sea stars, the ocean, and a grain of sand. Please can we have a napkin that's kind of cookie downstairs? No, hold on, I'm taking a video, buddy. Then we've got this tea time in May, which was for Mother's Day. And we are thinking about coming out with a tea time subscription next year. 
so that you would get something like this every month with a book list, um, poetry, a recipe, and a craft. So those are all of the tea times we currently have right now. And that is what is in this folder. Now we do tea time usually once a week, but we're gonna be switching things up next year. So we're gonna be doing tea time a few times a week because um, I'm actually coming out with a folks and fables tea time that's for morning time. Very easy, low prep recipes. And then we'll do these ones once a week. You know, I'll pick one from here once a week that we'll do um, either on Wednesday or Friday. Friday is the day we usually do it. And since I'm guessing we're not going to be going many places this fall, that's probably what we'll still do. So 